Maggie Yarn podcast. My name is Emma and I'm your host. Uh, today uh, we're sponsored by the really good weather here in Norway. Uh, I couldn't resist being outside instead of inside. Uh, yeah, it has been a couple of weeks since I recorded last. <laughs> and you can see my dog behind there. Ooh. Yeah, anyways, uh, it has been uh, quite a few weeks since I recorded last. Uh, I have uh, I've had quite a lot of things to do, uh, so I haven't had time to record, unfortunately. But I have really been missing you guys, so I have been looking forward to sit down and talk to you. Uh, so today it's Sunday. I wonder if it's 29th today, maybe 28th? 20... 28th is the computer. Hello, hi Frank. Uh, so, Sunday. Uh, it's sunny, a little, little bit of wind and I'm just relaxing. And now Frank wants attention. So yeah, uh, during these weeks I have been knitting and spinning quite a lot. Uh, I have also been working really, really much. Oh, let's see. <laughs> now they want to be like in my lap. You're so cute. Uh, Confusion today. Yeah, uh, I have been working a lot, I was saying. Uh, and also I had some problem with uh, a I got a, like a pain in my left eye and went to the doctor and they found a high pressure uh, and then I had to go to the specialist and I had lots of headaches so I have been sleeping quite a lot uh, and sorted out uh, so if you have seen on uh, Instagram I posted a picture uh, that I was going to be fine I just need some drops uh, for the eye to heal so that's a big relief so now I'm planning for my vacation. I'm working for another one and a half week. Then I will get some visitors, so I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, that's how my life is for the moment. <coughs> yeah, so yeah, I have been knitting quite a lot, as I was saying, and just need to check. <laughs> uh, so I have one finished object and one project that is like two thirds uh, done but i can start with the completely finished uh, one which is uh, the bickerstrat socks uh, so these are knitted in my size so 68 stitches maybe I do not remember. Uh, it's knitted in the Malabrigo uh, sock in the colorway eggplant. I have been showing the first sock, and, but now I have two. Uh, so the pattern is from uh, Kemper, who has uh, the Junk Yarn podcast. A really good podcast, so if you haven't uh, seen it, you really should. So yeah, I have knitted these on 25 millimeter DPNs. Uh, so it's uh, like an eyelet section on the cuff and the top of the foot uh, and then just stuck in a stitch in the sole and my first uh, oh, this blocker is a little bit too big uh, fish lips kiss heap my first so that was really easy so I figured I should try it uh, on some other socks in the near future but that's uh, my complete finished object and then i have something that either could be split into two finished objects or as i say two thirds uh, i am knitting a baby set so i haven't woven in the ends yet but i have finished uh, a hat and this brim is supposed to be sewn 
inside. So uh, this uh, is knitted from the top down, and uh, this is a, a modified pattern. I will talk about it a little bit uh, in a moment. But anyways, uh, this is knitted in uh, a pickles yarn called uh, Extra Fine Merino. Uh, and uh, we have uh, like a... Oh, I should have checked out the term for it. It's mm, not a cake because it's like a small thing you can eat at a cafe. A sweet, like a sweet thing. Uh, and uh, it's marzipan. Do you say marzipan? I don't know. Uh, with chocolate on, dipped in chocolate in the ends, so it's green with brown ends. And these colors really remind me of this treat. Uh, so yeah, so the hat needs to get a brim sewn on the inside. So this is approximately three months size, I hope. Uh, and I have also finished uh, the matching cardigan. So this is how it looks. Uh, so it's the same thing on the uh, cuffs. And then it's uh, three buttonholes on this side. Uh, and then it's the same on the inside here. So you need to button it on both sides to keep it closed. Uh, the original pattern is from uh, the pickles, uh, the pickles girls, from this book. It's unfortunately only in Norwegian, uh, but I had a little bit of a problem, or I, I wasn't satisfied. I'm not going to show you the uh, pattern, but I have shown you this before. Uh, so I need to knit some pants too. But uh, the pattern on the cuffs and on the hat, uh, I really couldn't get it to look pretty. Uh, I tried, uh, because you have to go down two needle sizes, and I did. And I tried it, and it did look good, so I took, I went up uh, half a size, sorry, and tried it again. Uh, it didn't get any better, so I went down uh, half a size below the recommended, try it again to see if my tension wasn't right, uh, but I couldn't really get it to look nice. So uh, I asked my boyfriend, or fiancé I should say, uh, and my mother, they are like my go-to uh, for advice, uh, and they both said, no, it's not looking good at all, uh, you should do something else. So that's when I, I took uh, the patterning from my a water for elephant socks and took one of uh, the patternings from the sock and applied it to the hat and the cardigan. And then I will knit the pants, they are also knitted top down, so it will be this way pattern in the waist. Uh, so yeah, it's a quick knit and really fun. I need to get some buttons and uh, weave in the ends, but hey. Uh, it's fun, a lot quicker uh, baby knits. Let's see, now my pug is sitting on my show notes. So, let's see. Yeah, and currently uh, in works in progress. Uh, I have not started the pants, so I can cannot show it. But I have one pair of socks, or one sock I should say, on the navel. Uh, last time when I recorded with Frida, I showed you a yarn from Dublin Dye Company uh, in the colorway Kaleidoscope. I couldn't resist it, so I started a sock. So this is how far I have gotten. So this is my 2.5mm cubic DPNs. I really like them. Uh, so this is my lunch knitting at work, though I haven't been knitting at so much at work lately. But uh, the colors are really cool, uh, so it turns out really nice. The pattern is the Shane's socks, 
by Mona Drager, I think. Uh, it was in the last uh, or the spring edition of Socupied uh, that I bought last, like a PDF with a lot of sock patterns and I knitted a pair in uh, Moods of Colors uh, yarn before and now I'm doing this. So this cuff is almost finished. Uh, I really like the fit uh, of this sock pattern so it's like Wayla Hill flap and gussets. So uh, really original but uh, these lift and stitches or slip stitches do give it some interest and it makes it a lot more potato chippy, you say? Uh, and the big work in progress. Hey, Frank. How are you here? Hey, Alphonse is sleeping or resting at least here, and then Frank is walking around a little bit. Uh, if you have been watching my podcast before, you know that I'm hosting uh, a knit along for the He Talk Today uh, Cardian. Uh, it's, uh, we're having the knit along from the 1st of June we started and we will have it until the, the last of August. So it's approximately two months left to knit. And I must say it has been <laughs> swinging by for me. So this is how far I have gotten. I hope you don't hear the train too much. Uh, so yeah, uh, the construction of this sweater is genius, really, because you do not cut the yarn, no sewing involved. You just knit the sleeves and then you knit uh, front and backs and back and forth and do some uh, uh, bind offs and stuff. Uh, I will not give away the secret sauce because it's a pay for pattern, but uh, it's a really, really cheap pattern. So if you do want a lacy, beautiful cardigan, you should buy it. Uh, I was a bit, a bit scared when I saw it the first time because it says oh, 200 gens and 200 sounds like a lot of money, but when you convert it, it's actually like a little bit more than a dollar. I think, or something like that. So it's really, really not a lot of money. Uh, and the pattern is so well written and it's really fast. Uh, the sleeves, uh, like the uh, when I was doing the repeats, uh, I was uh, a little bit bored, like the last two repeats, but it, it went really well. So the yarn that I'm using is uh, Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light, TML, yeah, uh, in the Norway Spruce colorway. Uh, it looks more blue on my screen than it's supposed to, but it's bluish green. Uh, and I really like it, and uh, the lace is so pretty. Now I can see you, but I hope you can see the lace. It's really gorgeous. So I have knitted the sleeves and started on uh, the back piece. So and I figure this will be really really pretty. Uh, I have made some or a little bit of uh, adjustments because when I was knitting the sleeves uh, they didn't reach around my upper arm. Uh, in a nice way, so I had to do some extra repeats. I did two extra, uh, so 15 repeats I made for my upper arms to fit properly. Uh, I can't wait to finish this and wear it. Uh, this is how much I have left on my second skein, and then I have a third skein. So I figure that if uh, when I have knitted through most of this, I will see if I can lengthen uh, so I can get really long fronts uh, because I like this one. I really like when it's long, long and drapey. Uh, if you had asked me a year ago, I wouldn't believe that I could like a sweater uh, like this, but now I can't 
think of anything else because I really like it. It's really comfy and looks good. So I have found something that really works for me. So that ain't too bad. Uh, let's see. And then I have finished my spinning prop. About time, I would say. So... My Rolex that I have been talking about for an eternity is now three skeins of yarn. I must check my battery. Oh, it's okay. Uh, right? Uh, so, this is the first skein. Maybe I should show you the pretty end instead. Uh, so, I made it a two ply. It's still a little bit uneven, as you can see, but it, I see a really lot of progress from my latest skein. Uh, the problem is that with uh, I inherit my grandma's old wheel, and the bobbins are quite small, so this is 60 grams. Uh, and that's like, I really push the limits on the bobbin. So... I made one, and this one was approximately for, let's see, 200, 250 yards. No, it was more. Oh, I don't recall. Uh, together, this is approximately 450 to 500 yard, of yards, meters. 450 to 500 meters. Uh, I don't remember how much it is in each, but this is 60 grams. Then I spun this one. Uh, maybe I should do it like this so you don't see my ugly yellow string. And this is, yes, from the two bobbins. Then I had a problem when I was spinning this one. I could have uh, gotten more on the bobbin, but then my, one of my bobbins uh, didn't have enough yarn. So I was left with quite a lot of yarn on one bobbin. So I sold it by winding up the yarn on my ball winder and then spin a two ply uh, from uh, in and the inner end and the outer end. So this is uh, all the yarn that was left on my uh, one of the bobbins. Uh, so I separated it into a little skein. So uh, 100 grams and close to 500 meters, so it's probably a, a really light fingering or lace, but it, it doesn't feel so lace, uh, but somewhere in that range. Uh, maybe it will bloom when I wash it, because I haven't uh, done it yet. Uh, yeah, I really uh, like the colors. I don't like that it looks a little bit blue, but this is in red, whites, and blacks and greys. And the Rolex uh, are from Knitters Gone and Knit. Uh, I bought it on Etsy uh, last year, I think. So this is uh, their card. And the Rolex uh, were, let's see, I have like my sheety notes. 50% uh, uh, Merino. I must just check so the dog don't walk out on the yard. 38% uh, bamboo and 12 silk. Excuse me. Uh, Frank? Coquille! Duk, did you hear We don't have like a uh, fence all around the yard, so sometimes he wanders away and wants to go and say hello to the neighbors. Hey, you did cook the cheese, yeah. Uh -huh. And when you have dogs, you need to talk like baby language with them. That's how it works. Uh, so yeah, I haven't started any new spinning since I finished uh, the spinning yesterday. So I'm going to give them a wash today. And I can measure them again. And I can give you a report for next time I record. Uh, and my battery is okay. I don't have... Uh, electricity out in my yard, so I have to record with the battery, but yeah, uh, oh, I really enjoy it to be outside, uh, anyways, 
I have done some stash enhancement, so this is my stashalot section. Uh, uh, I was tempted uh, and needed to, not needed to, but uh, I had be, have been looking on the pickles website uh, and I really have uh, want to try a yarn to knit uh, a sweater for myself. I have been knitting baby clothing in this Abuelita Merino 4-ply and I really like how it turned out. Uh, I have tried it several times, but since I haven't had any babies to give it to, I just uh, wanted to knit something for myself and try it out and see how it works. And I have des <laughs> decided on a colorway and then I got an email couple of weeks after that, that they were uh, uh, having a sale on a lot of the yarn to give room for the summer and summer colorways. So then I rushed in and ordered yarn. So four skeins of Abelita uh, Merino 4-ply, uh, which is one of the yarns that Pickles have. So it's uh, a burgundy somewhere between red and purple it's a little bit more red uh, than it looks in my viewfinder but I'm not sure how you will see it uh, but it's uh, variegated light and dark burgundy colors so I hope that this will be that these four skeins will be enough for a sweater for me it's a DK weight I think 250 meters on 100 grams, so 273 yards. Uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, this can be a sweater for me, uh, or for someone smaller than me, maybe I don't know. Uh, but hey, uh, I got some yarn, uh, so they want, so I don't. Uh, lose it because I really enjoyed the colorway, so I need, needed to get it. And then I had a little bit of a surprise package uh, because <laughs> when I join clubs, I uh, often forget from one shipment to the other. So when the, the package is in my post box, I get really happy and it's like, oh, package for me. Uh, so uh, I I joined the No Makers uh, mean random mini uh, or mini skein club, and I got my second shipment uh, with a little story, and it was a little bit little backpack and a compass uh, and these gorgeousness. So let's see. Uh, this one is uh, reds and whites and a little bit of green uh, and it's Gnome of the Redwoods uh, and then we have one here which I really like with like a bluish green, browns and white uh, backwoods Gnome and all this belongs to a story, so it's really cute. And then we have this in greens and blues, which is really nice. Uh, Toadstool Meadows. This reminds me of uh, one of the Norwegian yarns I'm knitting. Uh, one, I'm knitting a mitten, the Calivera mitten, uh, with the skulls on. It's uh, hibernating, so if you haven't been watching uh, all my episodes, you know, maybe not remember it, but uh, I'm knitting like a black mitten with a bluish green uh, variegated yarn as uh, the color yarn, and this really reminds me of it. So it's nice to have it in a uh, fuck weight, so I can have it in my blanket. Then we have fireflies. And this is sparkly, so I don't know if you can see it. It's a really bright yellow with little touches or hints of green. Are you running around? <laughs> 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 
Är det kul ute? Ja, nej, inte, inte. Inte. He's trying to eat my yard and my pen. And on the last one, uh, do it that way, in greens and blues and blacks and whites, uh, which is no me night. And uh, night uh, with N, not K, K N. Uh, so, oh, five beautiful skeins to my blanket. I haven't been working on my blanket for a really long time, so I figure now when I have some new mini skeins, I can do some more squares. I have, actually, I have a bag with, um, I don't know, 30 or 40 squares, but it's all colors that I have been used in my latest uh, round, and I don't want duplicates so close to each other. So. I do not have a problem with having duplicates or triplets in the whole blanket, but I don't want them to be in the same row or the row after. So I have been, I must be, I'm saving them for later. Uh, so I need some more colors and new mini skeins. So now I have five new. Uh, I believe it's 40 yards on each. I make two and a Two or maybe three uh, squares on one mini skein. Yeah, so that's all in my stash a lot section. And then I just have some small uh, things in the podcast love and announcements. Now he's going to rest a little bit. Podcast love and announcements. Uh, I have been trying out quite a lot of new or new to me podcasts lately, uh, but I figure I will talk about them uh, later when I've tried some more episodes. Uh, there are so many podcasts and I wish I had all the time in the world so I could watch all of them, uh, but I just want to give a huge love to all podcasters uh, because it's an awesome thing you do, inspiring and talking, and I, it's really, really nice. Uh, and I hope that you viewers feel that way with me too, that I can give something to you. Uh, so yeah, I also wanted to do a little bit of a recommendation. Maybe this should be a Crafty Desire section actually. Uh, but I, I have been following in on Instagram a girl named Jess, uh, uh, who is from in England, I believe, uh, and she is called Geeky Little Stitcher, I believe, yeah, uh, on Instagram. And she also has an Etsy shop, so this is uh, my, it's a crafty desire, I should have said it before. Anyways, uh, she makes these cute uh, patterns uh, for cross stitches uh, with like cuteness and food. <laughs> now they're playing. I uh, hope it's not disturbing too much. <laughs> uh, uh, so, cross, small cross stitches with like theme of uh, nerdy uh, food and. Um, See, shall I remove that one? Uh, so food, like cute food uh, things, donuts and cupcakes with ice and funny. No, no. So, I, I can't leave him outside. Can't leave him outside. You can't be here. So. They want to like run in my lap. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe it's time to do some uh, ending of this soon, since you will probably not be able to hear me when they are uh, giving so much noise. Anyway, geeky little stitcher on Instagram and Etsy shop. Uh, so many cute cross stitches. So if you're into that, you should check it out. I have ordered her uh, monthly club, 
so in July her donut themed uh, box will be released and I will get one so I can give you a proper uh, review about how the kits are but uh, I have ordered a like a download pattern from her already and I really uh, liked it so but I shall give you a proper uh, mind about it when I get the box but uh, her patterns are really cute and uh, it's a really pretty uh, Instagram account now Frank is trying to eat all the yarn he really wants to play so yeah uh, the last thing before I go uh, is that uh, it's a little bit on the short notice uh, side but uh, with my ow, uh, with the, the knit along for the hit of the cardigan uh, Frida and I contacted uh, a Etsy shop called Kicks and Giggles uh, and she sews this uh, really cute bags uh, and one of her bags is going to be one of the prizes in the knit along and she very very kindly offered a coupon code for all our listeners uh, so you can get 10% off uh, in her shop by using uh, the coupon code SHABBYU10 I will write it here if I remember uh, SHABBYU10 and then you get 10% off I got this uh, you will get 10% off uh, in her shop I have actually ordered a bag for myself so I will show it when I get it uh, so yeah if you want to buy a bag from her you can use it uh, as a little treat in the summer who doesn't want that I think I don't know so yeah a short episode but I'm glad to be back uh, I hope I will have time to record next Sunday again. Hopefully I can be outside in this gorgeous weather. So I hope it won't be like uh, the latest two or three weeks when it has been raining like all the time. I hope for sun and I will hope to have some knitting to show you. Uh, so until then, have a really nice time and keep on knitting.